All right, we are back in the open vaccine notebook. And now that we've run a single pipeline, it's time to optimize this model using some hyperparameter tuning. And here we're gonna use CADA, which is Qflow's AutoML component. And we're gonna use Kale to orchestrate CADIB and Qflow pipeline experiments so that every CADIB trial is a pipeline that runs within Qflow pipelines. All right, the first thing to do is to locate our pipeline parameters uh, step, and you can see Kale makes it really easy to identify uh, where that is. So what we need to do is that we need to declare a metric to optimize our model against, and we want Kale to create a pipeline which is going to output Qflow pipeline native metrics. So here we're going to use the validation loss as our metric. Uh, so to do this, we're gonna to want to go to the end of the notebook and create a new cell. Uh, so let's go ahead and click, uh, click here, click the plus button, and we're gonna put in print validation loss. And we wanna make sure that we use Kale to identify this as a pipeline metric. So with that done, we're actually ready to now go ahead and do our CADIB job. And to do that, we're going to want to enable hyperparameter tuning with CADIB inside of the Kale widget. And you can do that by simply toggling uh, this particular button there. Now you're ready to go ahead and set up the CADIB job. Go ahead and click on the Setup CADIB Job button. And here these parameters are going to be pre-populated for you based on the cont contents of the notebook. And you can see we've got our search space parameters, our search algorithm search objective, as well as run parameters uh, specified. We can go ahead and close this out. Now we can just, how we saw with pipelines, we just click the compile and run catted job button. And here, very similar to how we saw with pipelines, a few things are gonna happen. We're gonna validate our notebook. We're then going to take a snapshot of the notebook, the environment, as well as the data, so we can reconstitute uh, the entire uh, setup right to this particular point if we want at a later date. Compile the notebook, upload the pipeline, uh, create a Qflow pipeline experiment. We then run the CADIB experiment, that's our AutoML uh, experiment, and then some suggestions are going to be gathered. And just how like we saw with pipelines, we can go ahead and click on the view uh, hyperlink to view the CADIB experiment. And this is gonna navigate us directly to the experiments auto ML view inside of the Qflow uh, central dashboard. And you can see that at the moment, the experiment is running. And as our trials complete, you can see them start to populate the graph. If we click on the trials tab, you can actually see the trials that have succeeded, but then also those that are actively running. All right, and with that, we have succeeded in hitting the max uh, trial count. So it's a total of 12 trials that we actually uh, ran. And again, if you click on the trials tab, we can see those 12 trial runs and highlighted by default is going to be the trial that gave us uh, the lowest validation losses. That was the objective that we were optimizing for. Uh, I guess the thing to point out here is that uh, this is an interactive um, graph. So you can kind of navigate through these trials and highlight just the, uh, the plot for that particular uh, trial. And then let's go ahead and go back to the uh, best performing um, trial. And because we were using Kale, we're able to associate this CADIB job or this CADIB experiment with the actual Qflow pipeline by just simply clicking on the pipeline icon. And that's gonna take us directly to the runtime execution graph for this particular job. And just how you can do with any of the models, right, or any of the pipelines that show up in the runtime execution graph, you can always click on that particular step and get all the necessary details that you want about what was happening in that step. And that's it.